So I wanna share with you the one thing that I wish I did early on as a life insurance agent that would have double, tripled my cash flow, that would have helped me make more money, that would have weeded out bad clients. And I believe the easiest way that you can make more money right now in your business as a life insurance agent. Right now, if you're struggling with cash flow, it's probably this. Right now, if you're a life insurance agent and you're like, why am I not making money? Right now, if you're having a bad placement or right now you're like submitting a ton of business, you're like, dude, why am I not making money. I'm selling final expense life insurance. Now, you need to understand this before I share with you what you need to do and the simple, simple fix that will change this for you. You are working, especially if you're selling life insurance or final expense life insurance, which is specifically what we focus on. What I focus on early on is that you're working with a client who's on a fixed income, who doesn't have $10,000 typically saved in the bank to cover their funeral. They've neglected their health. They've neglected their circumstances. They've neglected everyone in their life. And now they have to go ahead and find a small 15, 20, or $30,000 burial life insurance to cover their funeral expenses because they neglected all of their priorities. And early on, I was selling a ton of business. I was calling, I was getting you know leads from wherever you can imagine, selling two, three policies. And at the end, I was just submitting business like every other agent. I was posting it on the leaderboards, feeling really, really good. And ultimately, I was like, why is my placement down? Why am I not making money? And why is my cash flow so low? So if you feel like that is you, you want to listen in. And that is simply by making two shifts. Well, the first shift that will immediately impact your bottom line, that will immediately allow you to have more cash flow, make more more money, I promise you in your business and actually enjoy the business just a little more is by removing card business from your business. Okay. So early on, especially if you're working with certain carriers or prosperity or certain carriers out there, they actually take direct express or credit card business or debit card. Remove that because if someone has a debit card, guess what? They have a checking or a savings account. If someone has a direct express account, they probably has a cash app or some routing or account number that you can get access to. And early on in my business, I was so focused on selling, selling, selling. I did not care about the quality of client. So what I did is I kept on selling card business and card business and card business and card business. And the insurance carrier only advances you the premium amount every month, which is 30 bucks or $40. Meaning that if I spent $65 to acquire that client, I would spend $65 to get a $35 or a $45 or a $50 credit card payment, meaning that I would, on, on a month to month basis, my first month of cash collected would be in the negative, meaning that I cannot continue to run a business in the negative. And so much, so many people will continue to write card business or push card business or just get them approved with card business when you are setting yourself up to be in a negative downfall of cash flow. So, one thing I wish I did remove myself fully was from the card business. And the reason is not only is card business not good, you lose money, but ultimately a lot of troubles. Bank accounts, you know, never change. Card numbers always change. People expire, the, the, the direct express changes and they don't have the money. So just don't, looking back, the easiest way that you can make more money right now in your business is to go ahead and remove card business and get routing an account number. Now, instead of getting a $34 premium or $50 premium, you will now get advance the full, you know, nine month or or a six month um, advance from the insurance company because you have a routing and account number. So when someone was telling me like, oh, I, I can put my debit card, I would be like, okay, I just wanna collect cash. I don't really care what I get. I wanna go ahead and post a sale. I wanna make money. I didn't really care how the money got to me or how much money got to me. But when I started tracking the numbers and when I started to track the placement, when I started to track how much cash flow I was receiving from these policies, I realized that card business was destroying my business. And even in our agency today, we realized that card business is not something that when continue to deal with because of cash flow issues, but ultimately you can't build a sustainable business long-term off of cat or off of card business. And most times you can get the routing and account number. You just have to ask. Now, the second thing that is crucial that can help you make more money right now as a life insurance agent is by getting immediate payments. You might ask what is an immediate payment and why is this so important when you're selling life insurance, when you're selling final expense insurance, this is the only product it seems that people want to have but you can get it without making a payment today, okay? When you go buy gas or you go buy your wife a new gift, you know, you can't say, hey, I wanna go ahead and get this, I'll pay for it, you know, in a month. That's not how it works. But with life insurance, it seems like that is the case. 
You, you don't have to put anything down today. You can go ahead and call me on next month on the third and make your payment. So what you can do is you can shift this. You can go ahead and set yourself up with predictability, increase your placement, because if you're willing to pay today, you are going to make more money. They're more likely to make their payment and your bank account is going to grow. So don't post it. Don't push things out. Don't go ahead and let them pick the time frame. I know it's important to set around social security or billing, but if you want to make more money and something that I focus on is I need to have a certain amount of policies each and every day go immediate. So I know I'm going to get paid that they're a good paying client. And ultimately I'm not going ahead and writing business when the third or the fifth or the sixth comes around next month, the money's not in their account. So Quick little fix, if you guys wanna make more money, I promise you, I promise you, I wish I had this video when I first got started, is to remove all card business from my agency, remove the card business, go for the routing and account number, and ultimately start policies immediately. You, immediately, you'll make money, and don't go ahead and post it or push it out. I promise you, you'll see a shift, you'll see a boost, and you'll see more cash generated inside of your business into your bank account, and hopefully help you make more money to feed your family and help you make more money as a life insurance agent. Hope this video helped. If you guys want more quick tips like this, um, just comment below and I just want to give you guys the juice and the inside scoop of the things that have been working for us and how we operate so that you can make more money as well. Cheers.